Hey there everyone, this is Cloud Chief. In today's video, I wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about resetting your one hour abilities. Your one hour abilities, as I'm sure you know, are extremely powerful abilities and they can definitely help you to win events or beat a notorious monster really easily that if you didn't have those abilities, it would be significantly more difficult. So I wanted to talk about how you can easily go about resetting these abilities rather than waiting the 45 minutes or hour, depending on if you're a master or not, for your ability to get back up. First I want to talk about Maze Mongers, as this is one of the easiest and quickest ways to reset your abilities with it also not affecting any outside sources. Before you can do Maze Mongers, you need to come over and talk to Dupladoc. And it also just can't be any particular maze. You need a certain one that will allow you access so that way you can get a revitalizer to reset your one hour. Come over to Dupladoc and then click on View Copyable Mazes. You then want to go to the bottom selection for View Mazes by Themes. For the next selection, you then want to go all the way to the bottom and go to MMM Revitalization Team. From here, I always pick Sibu Taku. I think at this point, it doesn't matter on the selections, but if you want to be sure, you can just pick that one because I know that one definitely works for getting the revitalizer. Now that you have your tablet, you are ready to enter the Mazemonger shop front. So just head over to G12 in Lower Juno and go ahead and trade your maze tablet so that way you can go ahead and enter the maze. Uh, just to note that you can actually bring the whole party with you. The party leader does need lead to be able to trade their tablet. And after you trade your tablet, you will go ahead and enter the maze. Once you're in the zone, talk to the second goblin, and he will allow you to enter the actual maze where you're going to talk to a second goblin that will allow you to get your revitalizer. Once you're in the second part, just run forward, and right to your left, you should see the second goblin. Talk to him and tell him you want to spend your CC points and then go ahead and click on medicine. After you click on medicine, click that you want to spend three CC points. This should give you your revitalizer with some other items. Go ahead and pop your revitalizer and you now have your one hour ability back. Just to note, you start accumulating CC points since the last time you've entered Maze Mongers. So if you've never done this before, you might want to go ahead and enter Maze Mongers by yourself and then just go ahead and leave. That way you'll start accumulating points. I believe you get a point an hour. So you can do this once every three hours to reset your one hour ability. Also to note that your maze tablet only has five charges on it. So once you've entered the maze five times, you're going to have to go ahead and toss your tablet and then go back to the original NPC in the junk shop and get another tablet to go ahead and do this again. Other than about the three hour lockout for yourself for getting points, you can basically do this as much as you want. So if you have a group of six, you can definitely enter six times within three hours, which is quite a lot if you're having to reset your you know, one hour ability. The next easy way to reset your one hour ability is going to be an Abyssia. And you're going to get this by getting a intense soothing light chest. And this is quite easy. You just need to go into Abyssia and start killing mobs with magic damage. By doing that, you will get Azure Light. As your Azure Light builds up, you will start getting better blue chests. And one of the top tier blue chests you can get is Intense Soothing Light, which will reset all your one hour abilities. I definitely recommend doing this if your Maze Monger tablet is down, and this honestly doesn't take that much time. You should especially do this if the campaign is currently going, as you won't even need to build any lights. You can just go ahead and gather up a bunch of mobs, go ahead and just AoE them down, and you should probably have a chest if you have at least 10 mobs. I've definitely gotten multiple chests with having at least mo uh, 10 mobs. You can also get the blue chest easier if you have the Abbasite of Kismet 
and that's actually pretty easy to get anyway. You can get one of them just for 5,000 crewer from buying it from an NPC. Another one is from a quest in Lathane. And the other one drops from the Impervious Chariot in uh, Eugolith Range. Having this Abbas site will allow you to get higher tier chests with less Azure Light. So it is much easier and faster to get it if you have these three key items. Just to note, if you're going for Azure Light and you're a really good black mage, you will not get Azure Light if you one-shot mobs with nukes. So make sure that you either melee or low-tier nuke the mob at least once before you kill it, so that way you're actually building Azure Light if you're going to get a soothing light chest. And the last easy way to reset your one hour is to actually go to Abyssia Altep and go to Conflux 6 and run straight ahead and where all the Mandys are there is actually a Cactar NM and by killing this NM it drops a revit to every single person that is actually in the Alliance so getting the revitalizer you can go ahead and pop and this resets your one hour now I've seen people come out and camp this NM especially when the campaign's going and they're not even trying to just kill other mobs to get an intense soothing light and I don't even understand that because especially if the campaign's going and the NM's down you will easily get an intense soothing light well before you're worried about getting the NM and killing it especially since the NM can be somewhat of a pain as it can do I believe up to 40,000 needles so if you don't have a uh, full party of trusts you could easily just get killed by needles and plus if you get an intense soothing light and your group's still out there you could always get the revit anyway and not have to pop it i've been out there before gotten like four intense soothing light chests with two other people when we've all been trying to reset our one hours one person came over and got it and the other person i'm guessing didn't know that Intense Soothing Light reset your one hours because he just wasn't coming over and I had a ton of chests. And I definitely think that that would be better. In most cases, when I've been with parties that are trying to camp this NM, I will get an Intense Soothing Light chest before they even claim the NM. So I would definitely recommend trying to get Intense Soothing Light even if you're you know camping the send and waiting for it to pop it does pop every 10 to 15 minutes so it is quite frequent but if you have a lot of people trying to spam something out it can sometimes be hard to get the nm so i definitely recommend getting intense soothing light and using that as a way to reset your ability over the nm but it is nice to have this option in addition to it I do know there are other ways that you can go about resetting your one hour, but these are by far the easiest ways to reset your one hour, and this should be more than enough sufficient ways that I don't think you really need to rely on doing any other of like the PvP events or figuring out other ways that drop it. Uh, between maze mongers and getting an intense soothing light chest, that alone is more than enough. But with adding the cactar revit in there, it's just plenty of ways to, you know, get your one hour back. There is one more quick way that you can go ahead and reset your one hour that completely slipped my mind, and that is the Jab Corsair. Their one hour ability, Wildcard, has a chance to reset everyone in the party's one hour. To do this, they have to roll a five or six, so you only have a one third chance of doing it, and even then, it seems to be less than one third as rolling a five or six on wild card just seems to have less chance than rolling a one through a three. So, but it is something to note that you can quickly just reset your one hour with wild card. So, these are definitely useful and helpful so that way you can, you know, try and do more things with your one hour abilities. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some value out of it and may you have success in all you do.